surrender to Jesus 100% at work. Once Christians become born again, they are given a new life to serve God. The devil will attack you because you follow Jesus. They will try to bring you down whenever you let Jesus go even for a short while. You'll be attacked by the devil at work every single day and make your work harder to accomplish. And not only that, but bring your spiritual health at risk. The demons don't bother messing with the people that are not born again as they are living in dark life, serving the Satan's kingdom, knowingly or unknowingly. Born-again Christians will have hard time at work in many levels, and it will make them go crazy or go mentally insane. You could lose your job that pays you well. You could lose your job that gives you easy money. You could be forced to work in low-paying job where physical work is required. People may mistreat you and put you in very unfair spot. Everything could go against your preference and make your life very difficult and painful. Your work assignment can become very harsh and unfair while other people around you have easy time working at their convenience. Or your scan gun at the warehouse could throw out error all day affecting your work productivity. Or it may quit working on you, so you have to go find another scan gun and the process repeats over and over. Some rude people may attack you and hurt your feelings. If you get with the manager to give you a different work assignment or move you to a spot where you think would be easier to work, the worst things could happen to you. The devil will attack you even harder, making the job almost impossible to handle. This is very common tactic the devil uses every day. It could get so bad that you may blow up in anger and draw even more demons to fail you. Over the years, your soul will get tired and get fed up with it because this pain and suffering will go on and on without stopping. Jesus too is suffering when you go through such pain. He is with you and take part in pain with you together. Jesus says don't try to use your own will to meet your preference at work, to have it your way that is easy. Don't move to a different assignment. Don't take shortcuts. Don't try to manage it yourself as the devil will attack you at greater force. Also don't cheat even if it may be acceptable for the company or not breaking the company's policy because it is going against the kingdom of God. The devil will go against you even more if you cheat. Worse things could happen to you later. Jesus says just do whatever is given to you on the job and try not to complain because complaining opens the door for the devil to come and attack you. The job assignment may look harsh to you. It seems so hard and unfair that you don't think you'll be able to meet the productivity goal that the company requires. Remember that you are in worse situation than others so getting the job done right will be more difficult and in some case the job may be seemingly impossible to achieve. Jesus says let yourself go and let him help you. Do what is right on your end and he will take care of the rest. He will bring your productivity that is more than acceptable to the company. Miraculous things will happen, 
so that your work gets done successfully. And this goes on every single day. You will get miracles every day. He doesn't run out of miracles as long as you stay close to His will and obey Him in all things at work. The more you obey, the better it gets for you. The more you go against His will, the harder the job will get. Jesus understands that you are not perfect. You obviously can't do perfect to His will at all times. Nobody can do that, and especially when you get old and tired. Every one of us have temptations to a some degree that is unholy. On some things we don't even know it was sin. But the more you let yourself go and yield to Jesus, the better off you will be at work. He will take away your exhaustion unless he is using it for pain offering to save other souls. He will not allow the devil to bring you down. He will protect you the more you stay close to his will on everything you do. I just wanted to share this with you all, as people that come to seek God and become born again may find this helpful. Jesus loves you.